Hey, welcome back everyone. How are we doing? Episode 2. I hope you're all hyped. Hey, howdy as usual. Uh, this week I did a Highland Cow I just want to share with you all. So here is the time lapse as usual. Up on screen obviously you can see what the end product is because I always like so you guys can see it, know what's going on. But uh, again, always made a Procreate, always made digital from paper originally. But this one's done this time again symmetrically. Uh, if you look to my other works at my school. So uh, here it is guys. So obviously the end product. So when I start off as usual, I always like to start with the paper sketch and then going over. But what I'm realizing as I do a bit more drawing, and hopefully this to help you guys, is I like to add in the kind of like pinkish color to separate from the page. Because obviously I feel, always feel like the blacks get a bit... I feel like always the blacks get a bit touched together. And so it ends with me having this um, kind of boring, non-inspiring mess. So working into it, I uh, can do that. Notice the nose is a bit big and played around with eye size and location and hair length as usual. That was always fun, but finally altering it, I was happy with it. I then put on a new layer, started doing the inking tool. Um, I have a special swoosh pen, which has, I think the streamlines up to about 100. So that's always nice to use. And um, just kind of doing it, the mirror ability, I think on Procreate is under your uh, canvas settings around there, you can find it, it's a symmetry tool. It just really helps get some nice laid out pictures and speed up the process. So after you know messing around with the hair for a while, I've realized it's going to be a big project, which is kind of the reason I wanted to do it in the first place, because I uh, could mess around with my shadows as usual and have more dynamic posing. Nice little wow there for you all, I hope you all like that bit. Um, but one thing I did want to take was the symmetrical side off, put a little tag, because uh, Obviously cows have tags, uh, but I'm not sure if Highland did, so I messaged a friend, big uh, fan of Highland cows, they gave me some insight, they live around a few, so I could get some honest real life things. Because it's all well and good having Google, but it's always good to ask someone who's a bit more clued up on the area. Orange started off, classic Highland cow, big ginger animals, and that was my kind of idea here, play off that colour idea. But then also think about my colour wheel and how obviously red and yellow make your orange, so play around with the blue. Blue's never enough for me, so the teal is always quite nice. Is it blue? Is it green? Is it turquoise? Who knows? Playing again, you know, obviously I've got my purple tag, kind of set that colour difference, mess around with my signature, where should I put it? Got the main colour bases here going right, grey eyes. I really think the monochromatic style of the eyes here jumped out a bit more, because those were quite saturated and everything else, and so having the lower colours and the saturation was great. Just write myself a little message here. You can obviously see how the reflection works. You know, shadows front on, just so I don't forget. And it's really now, it's, uh, yeah, I'll probably have to look a bit closer, but I'm working around my areas and thinking where do I want to be a bit more prominent with my shadows. I don't want to have a little bit more darker style to it. And uh, I messed around with the nose area first to get an idea and then work down the bottom. I would expect to kind of like chest areas stick out a bit more than usual. And so what I decided to do there was have in these little like darker second shadows to come in later to really push that forward and make it, you know, it's a separate section, different idea. I work around the headpiece, I uh, messed around with hair length to kind of show the short hair on top and then the longer, I say flowing hairs on the side to keep a bit more gravity to it. Uh, with the ears, it's a bit more fray, a bit more jagged, kind of free flowing idea is what I messed around with. Then after that, you know, uh, still messing around, getting the different horn colours, just fixing those uh, textures up onto the, I think around second shadows was where I still started messing around with it uh, more importantly, more dynamically, but I realised I didn't do the nose and that would really sell this because that, that uh, colour of teal there, you can really bounce off the opposites and we have like a, a dark, I guess you could say, tone on top of it, that really sells to me. There is shadow in this picture because it's all well and good seen underneath the hair, but seeing as obvious on the nose is definitely a big deal. Uh, I've got to say, overall thoughts of this piece, I actually really enjoyed it. It started out as just a little uh, exercise in practice because I always think it's good to practice, keep learning new skills, and all the other drawings I've ever done, I've always uh, I've been straight away from hair or working at hair characters or animals with short hair because you can get away with doing little lines and little symbols for them. So it feels a bit more uh, honest, I guess you could say. But, you know, the, you know where, where's all the fun with uh, just doing that? So working with long hair, I was able to think a bit more about casting shadows and direction. And yeah, I don't think I'll do any more short hairs for a while, or maybe you know, I might do one next, just to keep make sure I'm happy with that. But doing the darks, so it definitely 
so the longer hairs working with the darks there made me understand how much more rewarding it can be for a picture. Uh, this is when I started to mess around with framing ideas and how to tell it because I was kind of finished with this piece in my mind but uh, skull and crossbones I thought maybe a good idea but I couldn't really see it and then oh, it's starting to frame it but I was never really happy. I thought maybe some barbed wire at the top but as you'll see I didn't really stick so I just go about my same method for you know, quick sketches, mirror tool, uh, start with a grey colour but it felt a bit cheap and a bit forced I think and really took away from his uh, overall aesthetic so after just realising one for me, moved on to Photoshop. This is uh, no production value rising. Now I actually did end up sticking with this design. I worked into it for a while, and I've got to tell you, just one for me. I think it's kind of blue to yellow. It felt a bit forced. I got some Simpson vibes, and even though it's not a bad thing, you know, I wasn't really happy with it. So even you know, setting up my guides, doing you know, my 10%, my 95%, all my horizons, uh, horizontal and my vertical axes. Sorry. I just think, you know, at the end of the day, uh, some pieces can take 10 minutes, some pieces can take uh, 10 hours, it just depends on if you hit the hammer on the nail. So as I'm working into it, I'm thinking to myself, you know, what can I do, what uh, styles can I add? Adding a border maybe, doing a selection, messing around with selection, uh, I wasn't really happy but you'll see the moment when I just realise this isn't working, I need to uh, change it up. I think what I liked about one of my other pieces, a skull piece I uploaded recently, was this nice white border around it. Uh, it kind of felt like a proper frame, like it was actually a piece up somewhere, not just on my uh, laptop screen. So that was my intention here. Uh, again, messing around with it, uh, but it still kind of felt empty. And I did this in my later when I readjusted it. And I thought maybe having a word like, you know, it's the Highland Cow, High Life, kind of felt like a good idea, but again, a bit forced. My life, maybe I'm trying to say too much, I might be thinking into it a bit too much, but you know, it's always good to throw your ideas out there. Didn't feel right at the bottom, something I kind of realised later. Uh, spreading it out, what could I do with it? Maybe on the side, that was a nice, that was a nice area, but that was uh, definitely something I wanted to add in later in my work, and I uh, altered it. But no, it was around here, I exported it, I looked at it, moved it back to the iPad, Honestly, it just wasn't good, so um, you'll see what I'm thinking about. <sighs> exactly. This just makes me laugh to think. So I redid it, I brought it back in, I messed around with the colours on uh, Procreate, and I got this nice reverse style where I had, uh, I guess, an orange and blue, then a blue and orange. Um, but again, I like the idea of having two opposites, kind of like a two sided coin. Uh, you have the realistic style, then you have my style. Which is, I like my blues to be a prominent colour in it, my turquoises, uh, but then also some support in a colour theory behind it to keep me uh, sharp, keep my brain going. The gradient idea though did stick with me, I kept working into that. It wasn't too bad for me overall, so I think working into it again, if I was going to go any different, I kind of like the idea of a, a proper frame, like a trophy one on the wall, but I, like I said, I keep working things for hours and hours until I'm happy with it. I just kind of stay with that. So this is where that happened, I uh, added that yellow sunrise back in there, it looked pretty cool, pretty great, but, you know, it kind of felt a bit flat, Not in, uh, I like my dynamic side, so working with my selection tool again to add in that kind of like sunset, uh, flipping it there, and this is what we really sold it on me, it kind of felt like a proper finished piece for me to work with, I was happy with that, you know, it you scratched, uh, you scratch disc was full, always happens to me, so uh, saving it and all that. I'm going to throw up the end here, some final finished images for you, hope you guys like the uh, video this time. I think I'm getting better at this, my voice didn't sound as mono, uh, monotone and a bit boring. This time I sound like I'm uh, definitely there, but I've got definitely a long way to go. Hopefully, you know, look at these pictures, you can say, you know, he's, uh, he's improved, you know. But I'm going to keep working into it. Um, I think next time I'm going to work on some maybe different animals. I'm liking the symmetrical stuff as you can see. And, uh, if you didn't know about this, I've got an Etsy shop up now. If you want to check that out, I'll be uh, selling some of my sticker designs on there. It's, it's uh, always the same name as my Instagram. It's troublesome. Uh, you know, as usual, guys, have a great time. Chill out, relax. Don't do too much work. Let's all stay uh, happy. And um, I'll see you guys in a bit. Have a great day, guys.